what's up guys welcome back to the channel so um i'm about to go to chick-fil-a because i asked y'all maybe two weeks ago chick-fil-a or what a break for this a juicy mukbang please excuse my nose they was done but long story but um i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a and order get some food so i can tell y'all this juicy mukbang 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 how y'all say it i say muk what did I say? I don't know. You can say it both ways. It is so hot in Texas. Thank God, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My bad. I really hate this little intersection. Like, you, you gotta really jump out and go. And that's why I'm gonna be going expeditiously. That's why I love Chick-fil-A. Y'all been slacking just a little though. I ain't gonna cap that. I've been slacking just a little. I don't think I could work at Chick-fil-A because it's something it's something that makes me mad. Like, let's step outside and throw, well, we already outside. Get out the car and throw them hands. Get rude with me if you want to. Cause I feel like people do be trying to be rude to them cause they so nice and they know they have to be nice. Like I'm always nice to Chick-fil-A. Even if they get my order wrong. For the order. Hi. Destiny. Please put that for me. D E S T I M Y. We have somebody here with the eye. Can I get a name so I can What can I search on? Can I have a spicy deluxe meal with no tomatoes and no pickles? Uh, sweet tea, white ice. Uh, that'll be it. Would you like any comments with that? Ketchup and buffalo sauce. Okay. Uh, no, that's it. Uh, we'll go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going. Someone else in line just named Destiny, you guys, with an eye. There's different ways to spell destiny, but my mom spelled mine like find your destiny. Cause I guess I am her destiny and she found it. Don't wanna pay with cash? No, I don't. Gotta keep the hands in the top on you. Cause monkey pox looks so ugly. That stuff is scary, like, ugh. I used to get a large fry, but I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna eat all that. Either I'm going to eat all the fries and not eat the sandwich or I'm going to eat the um, sandwich and not eat the fries. Yes. Thank you. Excellent customer service. The line was long as hell. Mmm. Now I park and see out of the store. Mm -hmm. I'm a park right there. Y'all got it. Oh, but ain't nobody in the park, and it is so much information. I'm gonna try to go somewhere where I can just talk and nobody staring at me from their car. I'm gonna go that way. But, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go this way. What if I go sit in whatever parking lot to eat? You know what? I might do that. Feel like they got a lot of people. That's cab. They got a lot of people. They got too many people. 
these fries are busting. I might not even get to tell the story with the fries. But this is the reason why I didn't move to Houston, Texas, and I moved to Dallas instead. So, in the summer of 2020, I had took a trip to Houston multiple times. I don't even know which time this was, but um, I went with people, and uh, it was cool and all. We sailed before we even left. Um, I'm just not giving names. Or letters. So um, it was me, Trey, and other people. And Trey was getting like threat texts before we even got to Houston. So when we got to Houston, we was like watching our backs a lot because you just never know when something's gonna pop out. And. The first night in Houston was good. Nothing happened. Good vibes. We went out to eat, all that. And um, the next morning, we had spent a night at. This is not even my order. I know you Wait. Here. Triple A funny as hell, y'all. So I thought this wasn't my order because they put my sh they put my food in a container. Is y'all running out of boxes? See, I told y'all Chick-fil-A be slipping. Cause I thought this wasn't even my freaking order. What the heck? Anyways. Cause I show finna turn back around and say, boo, this ain't my order. I ate the fries though. But um Anyway, so we spent the night and um, we woke up hungry the next morning as usual. And Trey and I decided to get donuts from Krispy Kreme since it was like two, three blocks away. Bussing. And um, two other people want to come. We're going to call them Rocky and Sam. That's not their names. It's just the first thing that came on mind. So Rocky and Sham walks with us. I was like, oh, we wanna come. Like, yeah, yeah, I can come. So we all walking away from her. It's Sunday. We're well, coming to this because I'm eating Chick-fil-A. And we passed by a Chick-fil-A. And there's this guy, he's sitting there, right? And I'm like, why he's sitting outside in my head, I ain't saying a lot. Why he's sitting outside, sitting on the little tables they be having. On Sunday, on Chick Fil A, uh, on Chick Fil A property, they not finna open booth. So, me and Trey have on um, Louisiana hoodies. Rocky and Sam. So Sam got on um, a pink blanket around him because it was cold in Houston. So, um, we we just kept walking. We kind of ignored it. It's kind of like you know, mind your business thing. But I did look at him a little away fast. So, we're walking to Krispy Kreme, which is like probably like two stores down from Chick fil A. And we order. We get our food, and we're eating or whatever. And then, um, the guy from Chick fil A, he walks into freaking Krispy Kreme, sits down, look at us. So, I, I get up. Because I'm like, oh heck no, what, what he on? So I go to the bathroom to like calm my anxiety down. His girl anxiety was on 10,000. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? So I look at Trey, and Trey and I like mind talk. I forgot the real word for it, but 
We talked to each other throughout my life. And he told Rocky and Sam, he was like, all right, y'all ready to go? And it was like, yeah. So we all get up and leave. We passed by the dude, because he's right at the door. He's sitting at the door. We passed by him, and tried from smacking, just a bit. And um, he follows us out of Krispy Kreme. So at this point, it's like, okay, we under attack because Oh, forgot to mention, he was on the phone talking to people. Like, I don't know if he was calling people to come get us, come kidnap us, or what. Because everybody know Houston got a high sex trafficking rate. So I'm like, oh my goodness, like, what is he on? Like, what do he want? So, um, he just calls his people, he hang up. When we walk out, we walk into the red light. He comes running after us, like speed walking. And so we telling um, Sam, the one with the pink blanket, like, come on, like run, run. Cause like me and Trey started running. Rocky started running. But Sam was like, what are you running for? With the loud pink blanket. And we're like, don't ask why we running. Just run, like, come on. So we have to cross the intersection. Like it's lanes going this way and this way and it's like four lanes me and Trey was not watching we just ran like we freaking ran we wasn't even worried about no cars me and Trey's plan was to get into a trash can I know that sounds nasty but when you're in danger and you're scared for your life because you don't know what's going to happen to you you don't jump in a trash can you're going to tell them, them squirrels and raccoons to scoot over because, baby, my life is in danger. So, Rocky gets tired of running. And he's like, oh, forget it. Like, he's just going to let him get him. Sam was really finna get caught because he's he the one lagging in the back. So, when he seen the, the guy that was sitting in street for him, when he seen us run across the freeway, he runs across the freeway. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> And next thing you know, we get into this neighborhood, kind of like gated, and we all meet up, and we was telling Sam, when we run, don't ask no questions, just run, like, really, just run. I, we'll talk about it later. And so, there's a gated community, the guys, I'm the only people, the guys just slide through the gate, and I'm a little thicker, because I got a little drunk in my trunk. <laughs> ah, but, um... Um, but yeah, I'm a little thicker, so I have to roll because I couldn't fit through the little this part. I had to roll underneath the gate to get on the other side, so we're gonna be in a safe area. And so, once we get to the gate, we're like walking towards um, the apartment we came from. And while we're walking, um, while we're walking. We, just keep, we keep looking back, we keep looking back just to make sure like the guy ain't slip up on us, he found us, or anything. So, after that, after we came back to the apartment where we was, um, we didn't say nothing about it, we didn't tell nobody about it, we didn't want to talk about it, none of that. But that's like the main reason I really didn't move to Houston because if you know, you know I'm supposed to move to Houston instead of Dallas. But at least in Dallas, I can walk around this bed and ain't nobody gonna mess with me. Like in Dallas, you see a lot of, like a lot of my doors. Still, it's not, nobody gonna mess with you, mess with me in Dallas. But they sadly try to come for children more. And I'm like, why do y'all want little kids? They're babies. And I noticed that a lot, like literally like last week, there was three Amber Alerts about different children missing in one day. And it was in the same city. Oh, mm-mm. I think that's like the outskirts of Dallas. But in Dallas, you can really like, you, you're much safer in Dallas than Houston. Dallas, might, Dallas, yes, still has crime and sex trafficking too, but it's not as bad as that. Like if I was all dudes and I'm still finna get, like something's not right. So, yeah, that was the story time of how I almost got kidnapped and why I did not move to Houston. 
I would visit Houston still. I just don't see myself living here. Like, yes, Houston, Houston lit. It's a fun city. But, mm-mm. After that, it's that. Mm-mm. No way. No freaking way. I'm still mad about this. Like, y'all treat me like I'm a peasant. Like, Chick-fil-A. I came to you because I needed some love. See that I ate all the fries, having not touched this. Now I'm full. But yeah, I really hope y'all enjoyed this story time. If y'all wanna more want more story times, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See y'all in the next video. Bye!